This is the General, and welcome back to Cro Magnon Modded Series. As you can read from the sign, this is my new home. That's right, I packed up and moved on. And today, we're making a tank. I don't know how, I don't care how, but one way or another, we're making a tank. Alright? You see what I'm wearing? It's amazing, isn't it? Look how cool that is. <laughs> uh, this is the German World War II snow camo. It's not fitting with the, the grass and all, but I thought it looked really cool. And to add to it, I got this HUD hat. It just fits perfectly, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, there was uh, another thing I wanted to show you. Hey, look at that. Look what I got. Represent, people. Go Norway. But let's move on. Ooh, that's a big smeltery you got there. It sure is. So what I did since last time, I packed up all my stuff. How did I move all that stuff? I got all these chests and all these crazy things. How many trips did you take? I took one trip. You see this backpack here? You can put that on your back if you... If you follow me on Twitter, which you should, <laughs> there's uh, always a link in the description. And there is a picture there showing me moving with this backpack. But you can't possibly fit all that in your backpack. You're right. What did I do? Now, let me quickly show you how this backpack works. Backpack. I looked at all of them. I landed on this. Why? Well, it seems more fitting. It took in a, uh, a gold ingot, sorry, um, and some leather. Just a piece of wool. Very simple to craft. And you can... You need this slot open. And you shift, punch, and it's equipped. See that? Cool, huh? There you go. Got my backpack on. And to put it back down, you... Shift, right click. There it is. So here's the trick. Here's what I did. I made a bunch of dollies. <laughs> Let me show you dolly. Very simple. It takes a lot of iron and a piece of wood. But with all those dollies, you can pick up a chest with all its contents in it. Oops. Select something else. There we go. And you can store it in here. So basically, I had chests full of everything I had stuffed in there. And there we go. That way, I could move hundreds and hundreds of items all across the land. And while the dolly gives you slowness when you carry it, it does not affect it when it's in the backpack. Cheaty, perhaps. I was not about to make several trips out here. Uh, I, as you also see, I have a berry medley here. I've uh, collected a bunch of these berry bushes. I got blueberries, uh, blackberries, and raspberries. And I looked through the recipes, and look at this. I can make some good foods using only that. There we go. And they stack. It's beautiful. And they give you... Three hunger bars and a whole lot of saturation, which is pretty much better than steak, I guess. Almost. <laughs> I even uh, moved uh, over this thing, and I'm going to show you quickly the initial things of how this works, because I know, I now know <laughs> how it works. So I created a whole lot more seared bricks, decorated it a little bit. Uh, I think it's Optifine maybe causing this little glitch. I don't know. Anyway, use some, uh, use the chisel, which I don't have on me right now, to make these. It's just cobblestone, if I'm not mistaken. And I just chiseled them to look nice to decorate this. Sweet. So in here, I melted up everything that I have. So I got iron, copper, silver, lead. And then the cool things like Invar and Bronze. That way we can make some really... Uh, a lot better items 
A lot better. I even have Electrum. I don't even know how that happened, but I have it. So that's awesome. I made a sword out of the Peridot, which is just a gem you find in caves. And uh, yeah, it does a lot of damage, which is nice. The camo, as you remember, is just wool. Super simple. It doesn't give a whole lot of... Uh, if you look at my little bar down here, it doesn't give a whole lot of protection. But man, does it look cool. So it's totally worth it. I also made a few little things here so that I can make myself some better tools. And I'll probably get doing that a uh, little bit off camera. You understand how this works now. You just put the cast on here. You pour on whatever material you need. And then you go to the, the tool station. Well, let's go here. The tool forge. You pick your thing and you put in what you need. And you have a tool. Now, if you remember... Oh, man, I have a lot of stuff. A lot of flowers. Um, oh, yes, here it is, of course. The Deconized Sodium. That sounds about right. <laughs> so... With those, you can make some really, really OP tools. Look at that, 13 attack damage. It's it's just crazy. Ardite level mining. And I was thinking, you know what? Let's not make that, even if I can, because I want to progress through the, uh, the Tinker tools so that I have more of a natural progression with that, and I don't want to be cheap. <laughs> so... I'm going to hold on to that for a special project later. Don't worry about this. This is just a wood block that I chiseled. Kind of looks like a crate though, which is cool. Oh, it's getting nighttime. But what I was thinking here, I just traveled north. I figured out my map, by the way. Let me see if I can actually open it here. Oh, no, that's not it. I zoomed. I zoomed out. There we go. There, that's my map. Um, this is just uh, what I put down while I was looking around. This up here is like a swampy, boggy, terrible place. I was thinking that would be my testing ground, my nuclear testing and so forth. <laughs> my little army testing. There's a slime uh, island there. There's uh, like a whole cherry blossom forest, whatever. This I don't know, but it looks scary. Woody is down here. Um, so I walked quite far. I was all the way down here. Old hovel. So I walked all the way north. Why I did that? I wanted to go closer to some of the guys. And I know there's a higher concentration of people up here. So that's where I wanted to go. Matt's not too far away. Maybe I'll go blow him up with a tank. Let's sleep. I'm the only one on right now. Man, look at all those updates. All right, so let's take a look at this Botania mod. I'll probably delve really deep into this. I don't know if any of the other guys are looking into this or playing around with it. Probably are. But I found it intriguing, and while it breaks my character just a little bit, because it turns me from an army general to... Uh, fairy princess I guess but it has some really cool things and I wanted to learn about it so I got this this book which is really simple all you need is let's see botania oh look at all those crazy things we're gonna make yeah yeah here this one probably yeah you need a sapling and a normal book and then you get it so that's how I've been learning basics and mechanics so you can get like, uh, yeah, you learn all the things in there. It's got pretty much everything you need to know. So what you needed to do here with this thing that I crafted last time, you put in a bucket of water. After you've done that, let me go grab some flowers here. The first thing you're going to need, you need two, right? It gives you two. Yeah, perfect. You need four white petals, which you get from the mystical white flowers. And then you... Oops. What did I do? Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> I placed it on the ground. That was not necessary. You 
throw it in with Q, like you would throw an item on the ground, and they swirl around in there. You need four of those. And after you've done that, you need a seed. That's what I was missing last time. Seed, seed, normal seed. Oh man, do I even have normal seeds? I should get on that. One second. All right, I found some normal seeds here. I'm gonna set up a farm so I can get more of these. But then you throw in one of those, boom. Some sort of weird explosion happens and you have pure daisy. This is your starting point for the Botania mod. And uh, well, since I have the apothecary here, let's just place it here. Uh, what this does is it will convert blocks. So what you need is the living wood and the living rock. Let's go for the living wood first. Recipe. Well, it won't show you. But apparently, if you place logs? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me play around with this a little bit and see if I can get it to work. All right, since I can't remember right now, I just placed down some logs and some some planks next to it. And it seems to be working on logs, if I'm not mistaken. They have the particle effect there. Yeah, that makes more sense. So let's remove these and place down all the logs. And uh, over time, these will turn into living wood. And with the living wood, what can you do? Let's Check there. You can make that. That's not necessary. Um, yes, wonderful. Right. Whoa. Whoa, did you hear that? Look at it. It turned. Wow, I expected that to take a lot longer. There are some weird particle things. Did you see that? There are some swirlies over there. I don't know what those are. Hopefully I didn't choose a bad area, because that thing gives you slowness for some reason. I don't know what it is. So let's pick up these. Zombie? Hey, guy. Oh, look at you. You're decked out. Sweet. All that free armor. Yeah, I got another steel helmet off a mob. Glowstone leggings. Man. Cool. So let's chop down all of these. I'm not going to go too much deeper into this for the moment. But basically with the living logs, you can make a staff. Staff of the forest? Yeah, one of these things. Wand of the forest. There you go. Yeah, you just put two of those together there. Let's just do that for now so we can get a little bit further. There you go. Uh, it doesn't matter which color it is, I guess. So let's go with something green, huh? Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter at all. It has every color imaginable. All right. So with that, you can make uh, a mana generating flower. I forget the name of it. And you put that down and it needs to see the sky. And then you put some machines things next to it and it will collect mana and with that mana you can progress further in the mod but that's for another time at least we got started with this and you know let's just make this wand so that i have it all right so let's see what do we have most of not a whole lot there's a brown Mystical lime flower. Is there any mystical green ones around? And crafty, crafty. Let's get a wand of the forest. There we go. Wand of the forest. Oh, pew pew. It does things. Trust me. 
All right, so let me uh, get some. I'm going to make up these tools that I mentioned. I'm probably going to make them out of bronze. I left a whole bunch of diamond ore back there because I couldn't mine it yet. <laughs> so I'll have to go back to my base at some point. Um, for now, I'm going to make my tools and then I'm going to probably go into making my tank finally. Oh, there we go. Probably going to need one of these vehicle crafting tables. So, oh, I have bowls already. Let's do it. Let's make it right now. Not waste any time. All right, and it was just iron. That's a really weird crafting recipe. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, oh boy. Sleepy time. All right, let's put our flange stuff. Hmm. There's also a pool of lava here, which I'm happy about. Right here, which can make me... Uh, helps me fill up the smeltery. Yeah, I'll plant stuff over here with the forest. Seems to make sense to me. There you go. Aha! There we go. So we're going to need a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, Lord. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Well, I'm building a tank one way or another, so I'm going to have to figure out all these recipes for whatever these are <laughs> and uh, get to building. I'll find the cheapest one, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Lord and Savior. This took so long to make. So much resources. That's all the iron I had left. I had eight blocks of it. And I needed the British box here for the the Bren. Simple enough. But I needed the Lepis, so I had to go digging for that. Let's see. These. Take eight of these, which is so much iron for four. And it's just... Man. <laughs> uh, ooh. I don't hope I needed the advanced one. Let's see. I needed the tank body. needed redstone, so I had to go digging again. I needed these, so I needed leather for the uh, the caterpillar track. So I'm pretty sure I, ex uh, I made cows extinct in this area. Tank turret, which is more iron, which needs one of these, which is more iron. Oh, Lord. And these, yeah, the seats, they also, whoops, I organized my stuff, fair enough. What am I doing? There. More leather and iron, just for some seats. But hopefully, with that, ooh, that looks like an advanced one, doesn't it? No, it looks like the normal one. I do believe I have everything. I have the die. Okay, so how do you make this? Make it happen. Make it so. Engine? Oh, come on. What are you talking about, engine? What kind of engine? A V8? V6? V4? Tank engine, I don't know. Ugh. All right, I'll make an engine. Oh, jeez. See you in 10 hours. All right, everybody. I have my V4 engine. I assume that's going to be good enough. You know, it's it's uh, it's what I have. And man, it takes so many resources. I'm going to have to go digging for days to get iron to do more of these things because this is ridiculous. <laughs> but let's craft this. Is it done? Is it done? Do we have a tank? I have a tank! La 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 and a bow. Cool. Uh, I made um just everything out of bronze, really. <laughs> 
figured why not. And I accidentally used the battle axe on a chest and everything just blew up everywhere because it does like a, I don't know, a three by three mining area, I suppose. Hey, there's a cow. Probably the sole last survivor of all the cows in the world. I could use some food. Let's munch on some blueberries. Mmm. Look at the rate I'm eating these. Okay, that'll do. So, who? Look at this. What's it called? The Churchill MK7. Look at it bob up and down. Bow, bow, bow. I am excited. I don't have any ammo yet, and I don't know if it takes fuel. <laughs> It's an exploratory day. Hey, another cow. You should breed, you guys. Have a cow farm to get the leathers. Hey, there's a horse. I could slay him. Man, it's uh, not exactly even grounds around here. Hey, horsey. Want to see something cool? Bam. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is the coolest thing. Look at it. We made a tank, guys. I did it. Oh, it took a lot of resources. It took a lot of effort. And now there's a horse in it. But man, look at this thing. Whoo-wee. Ain't she a beauty? How do you... Oh, I'm in. Oh, you should go to F5 for this. Oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's a screenshot if I ever saw one. Oh, I can't turn off the hood. That's weird. Well, at least I can take a screenshot. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Does it go? No, it doesn't go. Well, we have a tank, guys. <laughs> no, man. How do you... uh Fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Do it. Maybe it's the wrong engine. Oh, that would be terrible. Well, at least it looks good. I was hoping I would be able to drive it. Hang on a minute. Let me just figure out my controls here. Ah, yes. Fuel. There we go. I figured it out. You press R, and then it brings up this, and you can put in your guns. Shells. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest. All right. Uh, let's see what it takes to get some fuel around here. Whoop. Man, look at that thing. Oh, this is the coolest. I love it. Watch out, guys. I got a tank. Mm -mm -mm. I got a tank. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see. Fuel, 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 fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. Should be listed here. I don't see it. I may be blind. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, piece of cake. You know what? Let's grab one of these logs. Make a crafting table. Too lazy to walk all the way back. Hello, little green goblin guy. It's a hobgoblin, actually. I have no idea what they're all about. Ooh, look at those planks. It's getting dark. Hey, you sound like a villager, guy. Okay. Fuel it up. Got our fuel. Let's turn off the hood. Maybe we need it. I don't know. Oop, we're in. Oh, it brings up the hood anyway. Alrighty, R. R. There we go. Fuel in there. Ooh, look at it go. Get rid of those flames. They seem laggy. Alright, can we go now? It's weird. I can't get the camera higher, so I can't get a view from above. I'm sorry about that. That's forward. Oh man, <laughs> look at this thing. 
Watch out. I'm gonna drive over you. Oh man, I wish I had some ammo for it. Man, it just goes over everything. <laughs> oh, guys. Here we go. We have our tank. One step closer to world domination. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. No, don't do that. Hey! <laughs> oh, man. Just keeps going. Hey, my butt's poking through. Look at that. I got green underwear. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a shame. Whoa! Whoa! Well, so much for that. Uh, can I go up here? No. Oh, I just wanted a screenshot right there. Let's put it back down here. In we go. Ah, you can get above from the front. That's interesting. All right, here's that screenshot. It's gonna be my thumbnail. <laughs> Wow, we did it. We have a tank. All we need now is a billion more iron so we can do more. Craft some weapons, get everything up and running. I'll dig more into the Botania mod, and I'll be a powerful army princess. No, army sorcerer something. <laughs> I don't know. Army wizard. As the sun sets behind my eye, that might be a cool screenshot too. Oh man. So cool. I, I'm just in awe. <laughs> there we go. Got everything sorted. Now it's time for me to drive home continue my hard work watch out world general has the capability to destroy you so I've been the general thank you all for watching at ease <laughs>